I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Today's feature company is Regenix Tech, a company focused on the extraction of platinum and palladium from diesel catalytic converters. Today, the company announced it has achieved a significant milestone in the development of its first commercial plant located in Greenville, Tennessee. The final step has been the successful installation of a larger gas line and permit approval at its commercial installation with its business partner Davis Recycling, a leading catalytic converter recycler in the U.S., ensuring a steady supply of diesel catalytic converters. This achievement is an important step forward for the company as it signifies the corporation's readiness to transition from the commissioning phase to ramping up commercial production to full capacity, which is expected to be 2.5 tons per day output. The completion of Module 1 has paved the way towards environmental impact and economic opportunity. Initially, the company focused on only the platinum and palladium, but more recently they revealed they were also able to extract rhodium, which recovery rates exceeding 90%. Furthermore, Regenix's technology does not involve smelting, which reduces the environmental impact and circumvents the release of silicone carbide. The company has an agreement in place with a large refiner who will be the initial customer for the concentrate that Module 1 produces. Greg Pandura, CEO, stated, With the successful installation of the larger gas line, we are now poised to harness the full potential of our groundbreaking clean technology. This accomplishment reaffirms our commitment to advancing innovation and reinforces our position as a pioneering force in the industry. As we prepare to ramp up production to full capacity, it is essential to acknowledge the significant achievements and hard work of our entire team since the completion of pilot plant protocols. These accomplishments reflect our dedication to growth, sustainability, and making a positive impact on the industry and our community. The team has been able to achieve incredible results in what the industry would consider an extremely short timeline. Although everyone's first thoughts are that electric vehicles will eliminate the use of catalytic converters, electric vehicles will not replace non-road heavy equipment. In fact, emission regulations require that all new non-road diesel engines sold since 2015 in the North American market require catalytic converters, including stationary engines such as those found in generators. A PGM market report by Johnson Matthey stated that 84% of the world's supply of palladium is used in catalytic converters, with approximately 2.1 million ounces used in the production of catalytic converters in North America in 2021. With an alarming $21.2 billion U.S. worth of precious metals from diesel catalytic converters left unrecycled in landfills, contributing to the depletion of this limited resource, Regenix is well positioned to capitalize from this exciting technology. As the process used by Regenix emits less CO2, the company is also investigating the possibility of obtaining carbon credits. The company still has some of its $2.5 million private placement of convertible debentures available. With a two-year term, these debentures are paying 15% interest and are convertible at 10.5 cents in the first year and at 15 cents in the second year. The shares are currently trading at 10.5 cents. For more information on the company's drug candidates, please visit the company's website regenix.tech or contact Greg Pandura, CEO, at 780-800-0726 or by email at greg at regenix.tech. I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media.